one of those uh, stories it's worth telling. It's one of those uh, really empowering and, 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 and stories full of energy and full of joy that uh, they are nice to be told. And also we have always this idea that Africa is just a, a single country and that Africa uh, there's only a one way to, to, to be African and to understand Africa. So uh, Cape Verde is breaking so many stereotypes we have about the continent, about the way the people are, about how they behave, about how they look like. So, like, uh, and also it's quite an unknown country for, for the rest of the African people and for the rest of the world. Chinda is my artistic name, that's what she said, and my, like, my document, my name is Alcides, Alcides. So then this evolved into Chinda, and I think that Chinda goes with me, and I feel really comfortable with the name. So Cape Verde is quite an open society and especially I think that the, the city of Mindelo and the island of São Vicente is different from the others. I would say it's the, the gayest island in the, in the archipelago and it's really open to gay people, to, drag, to trans people. Uh, they, we can just do our makeup, our dress, go with high, high, high heels and it's no problem. There's tolerance, I would say the situation is good. Um, it's true that uh, there's other Islands that there are also gay people and, and LGBT queer people, but uh, maybe the situation is not that open as it is in São Vicente. In especially in São Vicente, é muito bom. Carnaval is a big thing and uh, we, we say that in São Vicente, São Vicente becomes a little Brazil and um, it's big especially in São Vicente and São Nicolau, those are two islands and people when they hear a batucada, like you know batucada, then they get crazy. Um, I had my first carnival when I was 15 years and since then I've been um, working for the carnival and it's a huge responsibility, especially if you have to meet a group, you have to, have, you have to buy food for everyone working in the group, you have to buy them, you have to give them the materials and um, but but people like it, uh, it's something that is all, all year round that it has some influence uh, so it's not just the days of the carnival, like all the, all the, the, the year round it's, it's, it's carnival preparations or discussions or whatever and it's my best, uh, for me it's the best celebration ever and it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. Carnaval é minha festa preferida e faço com muito orgulho. We would like just people to observe a reality that maybe is not their reality and to, to to watch it without prejudices and to just see how it is Cape Verde and how it is Chile and how it is their community and um, yes and the more we know each other, the more we are able to embrace and. Uh, Sometimes there's all, all this like racism and transphobia and all those crazy things that they just come because you don't know the other, as you don't know or you think you don't know any other trans person then maybe you fear that or you don't know someone from that neighborhood then you fear that. So we just want people to know more each other and to understand that mm, it's just people, it's just uh, people like us, like me, like you, so just like to, to get this intimate connection with Cape Verde and then also start loving it, yeah. And also we are happy to just, uh, that, that we are honored that uh, Chinda is part of the Afropop series because uh, it, it, we go, we have the same, we share the same ideas as, 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 as Afropop in the sense that we want to show the complexity and the diversity of the African diaspora and the African life, so we feel really comfortable.